Okay, so setup number three issues are similar with that uh, before on on off toggle uh, as a push button. So what happened is that if you uh, having a, a toggle switch, let's say you have a hot as warthog uh, throttle uh, units, and there's a lot of uh, toggle switch right in that units. Uh, there's a lot of like four or five toggle switch or even more that you can use uh, the toggle switch for your uh, let's say turning on the light right turning on the uh, the strobe light nav light uh, taxi light whatever uh, the other problem is that if you use that toggle switch inside Microsoft uh, simulators it will create an, the problem that we just discussed previously the bugs on locking the increments in becoming inaccurate or uh, re not rewind. Now, to prevent that, uh, we have to use FSU IPC or any other uh, tools, actually, like Joy to Key. You can use that also in other solution. But unfortunately, uh, Joy to Key also have a similar issues if you use that on off uh, switch to send a push button, you know. Because uh, Joy to Key software, if you use on position, it will also repeatedly send the command uh, to to the software or to simulating the key press, right? So uh, that is not ideal. So I have got to use other solutions, uh, which is actually I'm I uh, in FSU IPC is not ideal because there is no set function for that one. If there is a set function, the toggle switch will will always be true if it's on it will on it will uh, the lights will be on if it's off the lights will be off in in toggle mode if you forget to put the position of the switch accordingly when you start the simulator uh, let's say the switch in uh, in an on uh, position when you start the simulations when you turn it off the lights will turn on right because they don't know which uh, which position you just toggle it like you're just pressing a keyboard now that is the discrepancy of using uh, uh toggle switch uh sorry on oh uh, yeah simulated uh, press of toggle switch but at least it works because i don't want to disturb the my diy panels you know as what i mentioned before for controlling the speed altitude and hitting right accurately with the refined increments so i prefer to sacrifice the light switch because if it is less use during the flight i can still reach out uh, you know using my mouse to for manually like you know switching on the, this landing light for example manually right so it's okay so how do i create a the control so i was in i'm going to imitate uh key press on the keyboard to send a on off toggle uh, so if i'm using a keyboard i can do this right alt j for a uh, taxi light for example alt j i can press alt j in the keyboard it will toggle the switch right so i want to simulate that using a on off button so this is what i do for landing lights it's uh, using alt i uh, the you send this toggle switch off to on uh, toggle switch on to off it will send alt i right so how do you do that i'll show you later on beacon slide also alt alt h and alt n for nav light and alt j for taxi light and strobe is o right how do i send every time i change switch position from on to off or off to on it will send a uh, uh, this uh, so let me increase the uh, already passing uh, uh, go on okay okay so yeah I almost hit the mountain here Okay, after this it will stop. So, how do I do this? Let's go to 
So this is how it works. Uh, to do that, you remember the key, which is let's say Alt J for uh, for taxi light. Um, rather than you create a button uh, from your uh, f uh, through this uh, event ID, you are doing here like for key press. So let's say I'm I'm trying to use let's say let's say I'm uh, I'm going to use well, uh, let me check. Uh, this switch, for example, for the Alt J, for example, right? Just example. So if I say I'm going to do this, it will be 25, as I mentioned, but not through this one. Don't tick this one and using this area, but tick this one, and you set here, and then you press the keyboard here, Alt J. So this one, if you press the button on, it will send out J once, right? So because you said key press not to be held. But if you want to repeatedly sending it, you have to tick this one. If you tick this one, it will not send repeatedly, only once. Uh, but let's say the switch is off, then you can also send a command, another out J, right? Sorry. So here what happened is that when you switch it on, it will send Alt J. If you switch it off during on to off transition, it will send another Alt J. So it's a, creating a toggle switch, right? Uh, when it's up, it's toggle. When it's down, it toggle another one. So if we set this one, let's say, I don't know if it's, it's conflicting or not with the internal, but let's say this one. If I set it one, it will, you see, the switch is moving on and off here. You see, the problem is if it's, uh, you know, uh, sometimes it misses the moment, it will not toggle, you know. But it's okay, because you, you, think, uh, you still can see with whatever position uh, you want. You see it miss, so it's off, it's off, it's off, it's on. So that is how you set up the uh, toggle switch on off position into toggling the command uh, inside FS 2020. So that's, that's the problem number three that we just uh, solved using FS PC for converting toggle switch uh, on off positions, it's always on, always off, into a push button temporary toggle, right? Like acting like a keyboard.